Hey you guys, so um, this is going to be my uh, October um, 2021 freebie video. I didn't get a lot this month, um, so this shouldn't take long, but I only have like one bag full and it's not even like full full. So I guess we'll start with the biggest thing, poking, well no, we'll start with this stuff. So let's see. The first thing, I have this perfume sample from um, Yves Saint Laurent. Whoops, I just threw it. Um, this is Libre. Um, and this is one of those. This is my favorite kind to get. The kind that's in like the little sprayer bottle, even though it's only half full, whatever. It smells kind of like an old lady. From what I can tell, but shit, we'll see. <laughs> so there's that. And then I also got these. Um, there's like a whole book. It's from the brand Pura. These are like scent cards. I'm wondering if there's like enough liquid on each of these. Um, there are scents for like perfumes and stuff. I wonder if there's enough liquid in each of these if you lift it to, um, like, use, like, on my skin. I don't know. Um, but there's, like, several of them. Each page has one, so, yeah. And then I got more of these. Um, I got, I think I already have, like, two of these, maybe. This is from Bausch & Lomb. It's the Lumify, um, like, eye drops. I guess my husband can use these maybe. I don't really, um, I don't know. I don't really need eye drops. Um, I don't really smoke weed anymore, so I really don't need these. Um, but it's like a little single use um, plastic tube dropper thing. Um, okay, and I also have some teas. These smell. <laughs> mm. Okay. These are Indian. Oh, that's sticking. These are Indian teas from the brand Organic India. I believe these are Indian imports. <sighs> I'm pretty sure these are imports of India. Anyway, this one is Tulsi Masala Chai Tea. That might be what I'm smelling that chai. Yeah. Um, then we have a Tulsi turmeric ginger. Who that ginger is coming through the bag. And then we have a Tulsi immune daily traditional spice. Um, I used to drink green tea um, every single day. Um, like every night I would drink um, a cup of uh, green tea. Um, but I have it in like a really long time. I have some green tea. I have two containers of tea from Tivana just that have been sitting in the cabinet for like a good eight or nine months. I just kind of forget they're there. The next thing I got was a free spin brush toothbrush. Now in order to get this, hang on, it came with, it came with this. Arm & Hammer Advanced White Extreme Whitening Toothpaste Sample. Now, in order to get these, you are supposed to be like a business, like a dentist office. Um, a lot of times to get the good full-size samples like this, um, you, whoops, like this, you have to be like a business. Um, I've done this a lot. Um, you have to input like a company name, and you have to give like your specific like um like career title i literally just make something up that sounds like it's relevant to whatever i'm getting um and they don't question it like they just send it to you so this was shipped to cleaning carolines i believe it was either Cle cleaning carolines or carolines dentistry i just like made some shit up just so i could get the shit but yeah there is that i wonder i haven't opened this yet i'm curious what it looks like 
yeah this is definitely a full size power spin brush I think there's already batteries in here. Yes, it is. There are, how do we stop it? Okay, yes, there's already batteries in here. And this is the soft bristled brush. So yeah, that will go in the stockpile along with my toothpaste. Here they go, almost like this. Um, the next thing that came along with this $3 off any Revlon eye cosmetic coupon, which I probably, I probably won't use just because, um, I don't use drugstore makeup. Um, Sephora is more my thing. I don't remember ordering this free sample. This is, I think this is full size because it came in a package, like a regular, like, I don't even have... But you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, if you go to, like, Walgreens or Walmart, like, the actual, like, cardboard and plastic package these come in, mascaras come in, that's what this came in. It's the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. Yeah, this is not a sample size applicator either. So, yeah. Um, got that. I probably, like I said, I don't think I'll use this coupon, though, because... I really don't use drugstore makeup. Um, I'll probably just toss that. I don't know. Um, anyways. So there's that. That will also go in my makeup stockpile. <clears throat> um, speaking of makeup stockpiles. I did already cancel my Ipsy membership. I know I said in my last um, Ipsy unboxing video. That I was really thinking about doing that. And I did. I deleted the app off my phone. Canceled my membership. Everything. Um. I'm thinking, so what I what I really want to do um, is go with the Sephora Favorites Luxe Box, which that is not a monthly subscription. It's $25 per box, and basically you get like six or seven like really big deluxe size sample products of brands that they sell at Sephora, like luxury, luxury brands, like well-known luxury brands. And I don't mean, like, Stila, Tarte, Too Faced, like, no, honey. Not high-end luxury. Like, night creams that are, like, $200, you get a huge-ass deluxe size sample of. Like, that sample will retail for, like, $50 on its own. It's ridiculous. But they don't have the box every month. Like, they'll put one out, and they'll put out so many, and then they'll wait, like, three or four months or so, and once that box sells out, that's it. It's done. It's sold out. And then after like three or four months of putting that box out, they'll put out a new box. But they don't ever put them out like on the same day every few months. It, you just literally have to watch and wait for it. Um, so I'm waiting for the next one to come out. Because the current one is it's been out of stock for like a month. I've been trying to get it. And they haven't put out um, another one yet. Um, I have contacted Sephora customer service. They said they do not have an exact date yet of when they're going to drop the new one. Um, I would just have to keep a lookout for it on my own. So every like two or three days, I'll check the app and I'll go on Google and, you know, research it and see which one is the latest one that they have. So far as of today, November 4th, 2021, they do not have a new one out yet. It's still the one that they released in August, which is already sold out. So as soon as they drop the new one um hopefully i can catch it before um before it sells out um and i'll be able to get it um i was thinking about boxy charm um but when i did my research on boxy charm i learned that they are actually owned by ipsy so i feel like I might as well just have kept my Ipsy if I'm going to subscribe to BoxyCharm. They pretty much use the same brands. It's the same people that own the company. Probably the same crap customer service. Um, I'm not going to do BoxyCharm. So, 
if there's any other um beauty subscriptions that you guys you know know of that i probably haven't thought of let me know um i've thought about getting um there's a couple different jewelry brand subscription box subscription subscription boxes um there's one called switch and then rocks box everybody knows what rocks box is i'm not even going to explain that switch is a luxury designer jewelry subscription box you rent the pieces very similar to rocks box you keep the pieces however long you want to you get charged like 40 dollars a month for as long as you keep the pieces but when i looked into it they charge you a very hefty deposit like when you first sign up for it they charge you a security deposit you might as well be getting a credit card the security deposit can be anywhere between 300 and 500 dollars so you sign up they charge your card anywhere between three and five hundred dollars and then you'll once they like secure that money then they'll start sending you the jewelry i'm not sure if it's just a hold or if they keep the money in case you like steal something like you don't send it back I don't know and I don't care. Either way, there is not three, four, five hundred dollars in my bank account to for you just to take. No. Um, so anyway, I don't think I'm gonna do that. If I had the money though, trust me, I would, because it's like forty dollars a month. They have brands like Chanel, Fendi, Givenchy, um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, like they they have so many different brands. Um but I'm just not willing to pay because I feel like for that much money for a security deposit, I might as well just go out and buy these jewelry pieces. Anyway, so the next thing is this. What is this? From Chanel. This is the Ultra Laitant, I guess, foundation samples. I might use the first one to see what the coverage is like. But they did not send me a shade sample light enough that I will actually be able to wear and test on my face for a whole day. Because I'm really pale. Um, even, um, even brands that like the, like their lightest foundation shade, like their porcelain and ivory shades, those are too dark for me. Like the lightest shade they have of foundations are too dark for me. Um, I also don't contour or bronze my face for that reason. Um, the only brands that seem to suit my skin tone, um, and not be too dark is honestly like European brands, probably because I'm European. I don't, I don't know. Um, I just have very like pale, like Irish skin. So I mean, like I said, like the lightest of the lightest foundation, drugstore, Sephora, Ulta, it doesn't matter. It's going to be too dark. So this, that is way too pink for me. I could probably use that as a blush. That is ridiculous. It's going to look so retarded on me and it'll probably wind up oxidizing. So I'll probably test it to see the coverage of it. And just depending on the coverage of it, I might purchase like the lightest shade they have and see how it does it would just have to be like white like notebook paper white i don't know we'll see that might be a big bust next um i've been getting a lot from this brand lately this is the moroccan oil weightless hydrating mask um this looks like a half ounce okay it's just over a half ounce size these products from moroccan oil smell really good it's got a little thingy on it hold on Oh my god, they all smell the same. I love the way these smell. Um, what was I gonna say? They this brand is sold. I want to say Ulta sells this brand, but I know for sure that Sephora does because a lot of my samples I've actually gotten from Sephora from this brand when I have made you know other purchases. So yeah, that will go in my um, stockpile. The next two things um, I will not be using um, just because clearly um, I'm like nine months pregnant. My husband can eat these or he can give these to his friends. Um, 
couldn't even remember ordering these. So these are from the brand CBD FX. There is a daytime and a nighttime. This is the daytime. It's the green pack. They're CBD gummies. Um, this one says it's got turmeric and spirulina. I don't know. Anyway, they're 200 milligram um, cannabinoid gummies. And there is eight in each pack. Um, they're vegan, non-GMO, broad spectrum. Now, I could eat these. But even with CBD gummies, um, or CBD anything, there really isn't a way to extract every single bit of THC. Um, so even if a product is being sold in an illegal state and, um, it's marketed as being perfectly legal, like how CBD is perfectly legal, it is legal, but it's still, you're still going to get like 0.1 or like 0.2% THC in the product. Just because there's no way to really get each and every last drop of the THC out, you're still taking that risk. So if you have a job where you get drug tested or you're on parole or, you know, whatever, um, I, I just wouldn't chance it. Um, so that's why I'm not going to, um, I really don't want to chance it. Um, and then these are the nighttime gummies is for sleep and it has melatonin again 200 milligram um cannabinoid gummies there's eight they're vegan non-gmo broad spectrum and those are for sleep <sighs> almost done here's another perfume sample from joe malone london this is english pear and freesia i don't i'm kind of Kind of curious you know, just like a little bit okay I'm, I'm not really sure about this i'm getting like like old lady vibes like funeral home like old lady you know what i mean like that old lady at church like yeah i'm just not i'm hmm, i don't know I'm very picky about perfumes. I don't know. Next thing, what is this? From Aura or Aura B Eau de Parfum. Um, there are, looks like, three samples in here. Sometimes there is enough. If you peel this up, there is literally just enough liquid to put on your skin. I usually don't have a problem. A lot of these will wear all day still. There's enough for my neck, my chest, my throat, my wrist, the, um, my forearm crease. There's usually enough for that, um, but we'll see. This one, don't even ask me to pronounce that shit. That's the first one, and then Valley of Flowers is the pink one, and then Desert Land is the last one, so yeah, those are pretty. And again, I believe that brand is sold at Sephora. All right, the last thing in this bag is, is it a sample of a facial toner from Thayer's or Tears? Um, number one facial toner brand in the USA, USA. So it's probably pronounced Thayer's if it's American. Um, so I think they have this at Walmart. I think I've seen it there. It's a witch hazel based toner. So yeah. Um, and then it's got a little $2 off coupon at the bottom. It says available at Target. Um, again, I probably won't purchase this just because it's a drugstore product. Um, I'm pretty, I'm not really high maintenance, but, um, when it comes to things like skincare and makeup and fragrances, I try to steer away from drugstore products to be honest they're just too cheap the quality's not there i would just much rather spend money even though it's expensive um i would just much rather spend money on a product that i know i don't have to question the quality on um yeah so i just i don't know really the only thing i'll go to like the drugstore for is like household stuff um 
and then of course like the grocery store for food but like yeah like household stuff I'll go to like Walgreens Dollar General places like that I don't have an issue with that but just when it comes to skincare makeup fragrance lotions I try to steer clear of drug stores that's just too cheap for me um so yeah oh last thing magazines I didn't get as many magazines this month as I did last month thank god because honestly I just really don't do magazines the only reason I get these magazines is because well they're free so we have people magazine I actually probably will read this one just because um it's gonna be talking about Brittany Murphy so I'll, I probably will read that one um another people magazine um allure <laughs> um I do have to say when I got this in the mail I'm like going through like my little stack of mail and I get to this and I literally my first words were what the fuck why is there a man with his nails not done but his nails are dead wearing jewels and makeup and a damn do-rag on the cover of my lore magazine no just no that's not somewhere that a man should be, especially with Jules and his nails did. Fuck out of here. Cosmo. I don't do that tranny shit. I don't, I don't, I don't do that, that, no, just no. People Magazine. And People Magazine. So, that is it um, for the month of October. It is already November the 4th. I haven't... I haven't gotten um, any samples yet this month, um, but like I said, it's only the fourth. Um, so I will start putting those to the side as soon as I get them. Um, but yeah, that was it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Probably, I don't think it'll be tomorrow. It'll probably be Saturday, like Saturday night when I do some more Christmas shopping. Um, I'll probably come on here and show you guys what else I got or what else we got for the kids. Um, so yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.